Hello everyone, Aaron here from Alice and Computing and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to display videos using part of the GData API from YouTube. Uh, the reason I'm doing it this way is I'm going to be showing you how to actually get out videos from a certain playlist that you want to show to your users. As you can see on your screen now, the videos that you see in front of you being displayed are all of my videos out of a specific playlist on my channel. So a lot of the tutorials you see on YouTube at the moment and searching around on Google for scripts to try and get an understanding of how this works is just showing you literally how to get out all of your videos. It doesn't actually break it down to single playlists and however else you want to display them but for this tutorial I'm just going to be concentrating and showing you how to display your videos from one specific playlist from your channel so as I said this is what it looks like at the minute and uh, I've done it so that obviously when you hover you just get all the titles um, the functionality isn't necessary at the moment because of that is not what this tutorial is about whatever functionality the way you want them to look is entirely down to you as I said this is just going to literally be showing you how to get them out of your um, YouTube API and actually be able to display them on your own website so as I say um, if I just go to my channel as you can see here before I do that, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, there's 20 videos here. And the reason I say that this isn't all of my videos, if I go onto my channel, you can actually see I've got 41 uploads. So if I go to my playlists and come down to the one I'm using, which is my tech tip vids, you can see that I've got 20 videos in here, which is these 20 videos here so as I said I didn't want to display all of my videos on my channel because there's some in there that I don't really want on this because they don't correspond to what this is dealing with so all you need to do to make this work is come to your channel click on the videos and obviously click on whichever one uh, whichever playlist you want to use so I'm going to again just click on the same one that I've got and if you look at the URL at the top you will see that it's got playlist with question mark list equals PL which is short for playlist and then we've got these a range of numbers and letters so all we want to concentrate on getting is everything between or after the PL or whichever letters you may have but it is normally PL and before the ampersand, uh, ampersand sign sorry the and sign so just these letters and numbers here so we want to copy them and then you need to open up your text editor I'm going to be using Dreamweaver it's entirely up to you whichever one you want to use whichever you feel most comfortable using so if I open this up you can see this is the page I've got at the moment this is uh, for showing um, these here so this is the page we're actually looking at at the moment and if you look here I've got include of YouTube video feed .php. Uh, the rest of them you don't really need to worry about you don't really need or you, you don't actually need your database connection script because we're not connecting to our database for any resources everything is coming directly from YouTube and all I've got here is two uh, so not two I've got a pair of PHP brackets and opening and closing and in the middle of that I've just got get playlist with no uh, no variable or nothing being sent through with that so 
that is basically all I'm using to display it. So this is on the main page where you want your videos to show or the certain videos that you're picking up and as I said whatever you name your file to do all this back end functions just make sure that you correspond to where it's actually located so as you can see with mine it's out of the folder that I'm actually in going into my includes folder and then we reference the, uh, the actual um, name of the, the file we want to use so now you've uh, understood that bit or well, I hope you've understood I'll go to uh, the page that does with this function it's not very long at all and I'll show you exactly what this is so if I open this one up you can see that this is the only code I've got there's nothing else it's just these few lines of code and this does it all for me so all we need to do is open up the PHP so we've got an opening at the top here and a close in here and everything between here is a function so we list out function of get playlists and if you uh, were paying attention and watching when I was explaining just now you'll see that get playlists which is located for the function name is what was being outputted here because obviously everything inside that function is what we want to put out so this just makes it a bit easier and it keeps all the files in the back end and we can just obviously navigate to them and include them into other, other files or folders that we need so let me come back so what we're doing first is we're getting the data or we're making a data variable and we're just calling out to the uh, the actual YouTube API so we need to put file get contents and then we want to use two uh, parentheses an opening and closing and two uh, speech marks one end and two the other end so I keep forgetting the name of them and basically all we're doing is targeting what exactly or sorry the playlist that we want to use so as I said to you before come back to here remember this that I said with the numbers and letters this code or this part of it here this is the ID corresponding to the playlist whichever one you want to use so you copy that you come into your PHP file and you literally copy everything I've got here and just change this to match up with your playlist so I'll just uh, just double check so you got 8C4D and if you go back in you can see it's 8C4D I'm not going to read out the rest of it but that is it so we target the gdata.youtube.com the feeds slash API slash playlists slash then we put our ID that we, we know we want to use so after that we make another variable of XML and we basically target of a simple XML load string data so basically what happens is all of this information being output from here will then be put into uh, an XML file and it will be uh, targeted so that you can use any of the entry keys within that uh, XML so if, if you've done work before with XML then you understand what I'm uh, what I'm explaining if you haven't yet done anything with XML don't worry too much just follow along with this and it it will work for you um, if you feel better that you'd rather learn it first do go ahead and learn about using XML with PHP before you start with this one but as I said it is very easy so all we do after that is we make a for each loop which starts here and ends here so everything inside of here 
is what is going to be run. And all we do is we target the XML variable and we say the entry as playlist. So every entry of the XML file we want to use as a playlist. So we can then just target this one file, uh, sorry, this one variable. So we target the media within the XML. So the media would be, for instance, the thumbnails, um, title, the player, the URL, there's all different attributes and links and such inside that. But as I said, this is the ones we're targeting. So media, which is going to be equal to the playlist. Remember that's this one here. And then we put children and this part here. Now this, when you use the, uh, the media content from the XML, you'll see that looking in the XML, you will have media with a uh, two colon, or sorry, a colon. So somewhere within the XML, you'll see that it will look like this. And then it will have data or whatever it needs. Um, sorry, it may have uh, data, uh, media and thumbnail. So it will look like this. And these t colons here actually make it as a namespace. So we can't actually target media and then thumbnail. We actually need to target that namespace. So that's why we use this here. Oh, sorry. That's why we use this part here. So once that's put in, we can then target it anything after that. So I'll get rid of that. So I hope this uh, is still clear for you. The next part is attributes. These, uh, sorry, just so you guys know, um, all these um, variables here on the left, these are just all names I've created. These aren't part of the API. This is just what I'm referencing to use further down. So anything after this is what we're going to be equaling in the XML. So again, attributes, that's going to be equal to the media, which was media. Remember that was the one with the uh, the namespace that I was saying. Then we can target the group inside the XML. That thumbnail of zero, the array of zero, so that will be the first thumbnail. And then we just target the attributes. Next one is the thumb, and that's going to be this attributes here, it's URL. So then we can pick up that link, get the uh, the ID for each video within that playlist, or any other uh, URL segments. The next part again is we use the attributes of the media, and we target the group, the player, the player and the attributes within that part. Then again, we do video is attributes, the URL. And then the last one is title, again, media, group, and then the title. So we pick up the title of each of the video, uh, sorry, each of the videos within that playlist. After that, we do URL, so another variable we're making, and that's going to be equal to video. So that's going to be equal to this here. Then we pass the string of the pass of the URL. Sorry if this is a bit confusing. It's uh, this is the only way I could see it working. So we pass string. And then we pass URL, which are native functions in PHP. Then we provide our URL variable. And we signify that it's a URL query. And we just basically put my array of vars. Now don't worry about this too much. Just as long as you put this in, it will work for you. It's just basically finding the video ID 
so the, the numbers and letters of each video so we can then target the thumbnails of each uh, video so we make a video ID variable here and that's going to be equal to my array of vars which was this one and we target the V so if you remember or if you know by looking at your YouTube videos you'll see that the V will have question mark and then its actual ID of that video then the last part is just thumbnail which is what I've gave it um, I've just named a variable thumbnail dot equals because we're still in our for each loop if you've got more than one um, you will need to use dot equals because it will keep appending every time a new video is created or a new video is found it will keep appending this same uh, logic so mine is putting it into a div and obviously the video ID the thumb so the image and then the title and then after our for each loop closes here we then print our thumbnail so we print any of uh, this out and we just close off our function here so this bit here is the ending of our function and as I said once that's done you just upload it all to your to your server find the page that you want to print it out on so just include that script that we've just put in so include this script and just use get playlists and that will actually print out exactly what you want well I hope this helps guys um, it certainly helped me out it took me a little while to work it out but I got there in the end and uh, I hope this is um, as of use to, to you as it is me uh, if you get any questions feel free to uh, message me or comment on the video and I will do my best to answer you as quick as possible okay guys um, I'll see you later have fun